Hey guys, my name is Gabe and this is episode 22 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode we're going to be making an M4, so it looks uh, something like this. I think it's pretty cool, it has a render texture on it so we could zoom in with the scope. Um, it deals a little bit more damage and yeah, we also get things working such as our, um, our physics shooting. So that works correctly now and yeah, so uh, stay tuned and enjoy. That was okay. Alright, so to get started, uh, we're just going to go into our models folder and import our M4, uh, which is linked in the description. So if we go into our M4 folder here, you can see a bunch of stuff. We don't need like most of this, so I'm going to delete this. This, uh, I'm going to delete the render, don't need this. Um, and all we want here is the FBX. So I'm going to delete all these others except for the FBX file. So. Here we have M4A1.fbx and our materials folder, which is fine. So in our, um, uh, in our, uh, excuse me, <laughs> in our M4, we're gonna go to our import settings here and adjust this. So over here for animation type, you could just select none. And in the animations, we're gonna do over here where uh, uncheck import animations and apply. I think it's showing all this stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, because I have debug on. Just turn normal on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring this M4 in so we can see how it looks. We want to try to scale it correctly. And that is a tiny M4. Okay, so this model was made very small. Or its uh, file scale is small. So maybe, maybe that's not big enough. Yeah, let's try 4. Yeah, that looks big enough. I think that'll that'll do for now. Um, this model has um, no textures, but that's fine because this is just a tutorial. Also, um, if you go here, you can see there's like a crap ton of stuff here. Um, the the reason is I, I guess like who uh, whoever made the model decided not to uh, combine all this stuff, and it's also a good thing because we can now use this for our weapon customization. So that'll. I guess that uh, works out in the end. And I know the model has a lot of vertices, but that's fine. So, uh, yeah. Let's go here into our materials. I just want to kind of make this gray-ish. I mean, it, it doesn't matter uh, so much. Okay. So I'm going to take the M4. Oh, actually, you know what? Why don't we give it some smoothness? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Okay. Take the M4 here. And we're gonna uh, use this M4 as our pickup. So th this one's gonna be our pickup, so I'm gonna call this M4A1 pickup, like our Glock. So I'm gonna add to this uh, weapon pickup, and this is just gonna be called M4A1. Okay, and this pickup is going to have the tag weapon pickup and the layer interact, and no, this object only. We're gonna add a rigid body and a box collider. Okay, and we're just going to adjust the box collider to an appropriate size for the scale of this model. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. So I'm just kind of getting the rough outline. Okay, this will do, this is fine. Uh, I'll leave it this way. So just do that and go into your prefabs folder and I'm gonna drag this M4 in our prefabs folder. I'm gonna also make our table object a little bigger. So like that. And I'm gonna put our M4 here. So just bring it over here. Okay, so it'll fall right onto the table like that. Okay, so we have our pickup but now we have to actually set up our weapon to uh, actually work with our player. So we're going to take this M4 and drag it onto the weapon manager here. Um, actually, hold on, how do we do this? We did Glock. Okay, it was all the same. So I'm gonna take this M4 and bring it onto our weapon manager and reset its position. Okay, so if we go to our uh, main camera, we wanna see how this is facing and this is correct. So I'm gonna bring this out out like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, let's break that more. <laughs> um, 
maybe something like this. No, a little bit more out and down. Okay, I think this will do for now. This is fine. Uh, don't have to worry about it too much. And we're going to basically copy everything from here and we're going to adjust it uh, to feel more like an M4. So I'm going to copy this shooting system. So copy component and we're going to add a shooting system here and we're just going to paste the component values. Okay, um, so I just want to adjust this. How many? I don't know. Let's just say 30. So we got 30 out of 30 and we have 50 bullets for our um, reserve. Okay, this all looks fine. Weapon object, we're going to want to make this the M4 and we do want a muzzle flash. So I'm going to take this muzzle flash and bring it onto the M4 and enable it just so that we could see. Bring it out on the C axis. Just a little bit and a little higher on the Y. Okay, so that'll be fine. I'll just call this muzzle flash and go to our M4 here and drag this muzzle flash over here. Okay, so go to the player and hit apply, not transform. And this should be good. Let's just kind of review clip size. Maybe you make the hit power a little higher. And okay, so let's try this out, let's see if it works. <laughs> We're forgetting a few things. So let's go to our audio source here. Okay. Okay, it almost works. It's just that now we have to get our... Um, we have to get the normal position and the aiming position. So I'm going to adjust this again. Probably just bring it out on the Z axis. Okay. And I'm going to copy this uh, component and paste the values. Okay, and now we're going to work on our aiming. So I'm going to mute this audio really quick. Okay, so now we want to adjust our... Oops, that's too much. Okay, that's fine. Just we want to lower on the y-axis now. So, yeah, okay, we have a problem here. And that's too low. Let's see, negative. I'm just uh, adjusting this. Just adjust it. Um, however, it, it's really preference as well. So just play around with it. Uh, this will be fine. I, I might actually remove that iron sight. So negative. Okay, this is fine. We'll leave it here. Um, so I'm going to copy the uh, component and paste the values right here. So paste component values and hit apply. And I also want to, okay, so the Z axis, it does move in. Okay, so we're going to want to disable the muscle flash so it doesn't pop up at the start like it does there. And we're going to want to find our ACOG site. ACOG site, maybe it's not an ACOG. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so there's a plane here that he put. So we can actually use this as a render camera. So we might, I'm going to rename this to render camera object. And we could actually do this now, which is, uh, yeah, let's try to do this now. Okay, so I'm going to make a camera on our weapon manager, just like that. And I'm going to move it forward a little bit. And I'm going to increase the field of view to something like this. So 20. Okay. And this is going to be called our render cam. All right. So we're going to create a render texture. So we're going to go over here uh, to create and render texture. And it's going to be called very simply render texture. Okay. And in anti-aliasing, we're just going to select two samples. Okay, and over here on this object, so our render camera, first of all, we want to drag in our, uh, our target texture. So it knows that our target texture is now this camera. Um, okay, 
on our M4, we have our render camera object. And on here, we're going to apply, apply <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that render texture. And now you can see that we have um, this effect where we could now, so if we hit play, I'll show you. So now we have this effect that we're zooming in with a scope. Well, it doesn't exactly look like we're, it looks like we're zooming out. That's a little weird. Okay, uh, let's try to adjust the camera. So our render camera. Okay, six. Uh, I, we could adjust it here. Just see whatever is best. Probably three. Okay, I'm gonna leave the field of view here at three. And now if you hit play, uh, you can see that we kind of zoom in with our scope. So we have this pretty cool effect. Uh, oh, so next time we can add a pretty cool um, reticle to this. So it's not just uh, glass, it's, um, it'll have a crosshair on it, kind of. So yeah, that'll be interesting. What is the problem now? Okay, we just got an error. <laughs> Let's see. There is no rigid body attached to collision object zero. Okay, so it's looking for some sort of uh, rigid body. Let's see, rigid body to add for. Oh, okay, I see. That's because we're shooting things that don't have a rigid body. If hit info dot rigid body, maybe we should do dot deck component. No, we can't do that. If hit info dot collider dot rigid body. Well, okay, that's not working either. So get component rigid body is not equal to null. So maybe this will work. Okay, and it does. Okay, so that's the solution to that annoying problem. I still don't know what the problem is with the force. It seems as though everything is being shot in the opposite direction it's supposed to be so let's try to fix that as well um okay right over here where do we do that where do we add force oh wow okay we were at it add force position maybe we have to do times negative hit power oh jeez. okay yeah okay so that now we have working uh physics so that's good now we could actually shoot the objects off the table as they were meant to be shot off the table okay that's cool um so everything should be working uh you don't hear the gun sounds because i actually muted the the game audio but you can also replace the sound effects here so we have gunshot clips so you could replace that with um another audio clip so i'll find some m4 clip Okay, so I've actually imported a M4 sound, so I'm gonna change that to PCM, and this is what it sounds like if you could hear it. I don't know if the audio is too loud on my recorder, but that's what it sounds like. Hopefully you were able to hear that. Might make it a little louder. Okay, so that's um, the M4 sound, and we're just going to go here to our M4 and replace the uh, gunshot clip, M4A1 sound effect. I'm gonna rename this to M4, and over here for gunshot, I'm gonna hit Glock shot. Okay, so if we hit play, you could see and hear that uh, it now sounds different. So, we could kill the, okay, kill the enemies with the M4 now, which is uh, pretty cool, and I'm going to disable the M4 here. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and pick it up, and now everything should be working correctly. Now that we had picked it up instead of just enabling it. And we might wanna increase the damage on the M4 as well, since it is a more powerful weapon. So over here to maximum dam or minimum damage, I'm gonna make this 40, and our maximum damage could be like 60. So. This should kill them much quicker as opposed to the Glock. Yeah. To 
two to three shots. Okay, so that's um, that's pretty cool. I like that. So we'll do the reticle next, and yeah. So uh, I hope you enjoy this episode uh, where we kind of added an M4. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, please subscribe for more so you will know when new content is released. Um, if you enjoyed the video, also leave a like so I know that uh, you guys enjoy this uh, content. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer. So yeah, uh, have a good one.